Hi, <coughs> in this video we will see how to transpose a table using formula. Now here uh, in this table we have received some serial numbers of, of some electronic items produced in this fashion. Each column represents a single box which contains 10 units of serial numbers. Now your customer wants you to send wants these serial numbers in a single column format so how will you do it now can you transpose this whole table using a formula uh, there is a formula called transpose let's see if it helps us now what this formula has done uh, this has simply transferred the columns into rows and rows into columns the 10 column and 7 the 7 column and 10 rows table is got translated into 10 columns and 7 rows but this is not what we want the customer has requested us to give us all the serial numbers by each box so something like this so let me show you so customer wants us to give him the box number and hardware serial number so the answer is expected something like this one box number one serial number well it's this now second box to be pasted below the first set of serial numbers and the box number would be two now this is something which is very uh, tedious and complicated it's definitely time consuming thing and moreover in real life scenario will you will not going to have seven boxes the boxes would be 100 at least 100 units 100 boxes if you have produced 1000 units of electronic items or products so how to do this using a formula is there a method well there is let me show you how to do this now each box is having almost 10 units so let's label them so 10 units each box now how to prepare a data table here <coughs> we will mention units per box Here you will mean we will mention box number. How many units do we have per box? 10 units. And this is for box number one. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create this information for all seven boxes. In this case, we have seven boxes, so we'll do for seven boxes. like this now we'll do this five more times or the fastest way would be to calculate how many these serial numbers are these are 70 we are at no number row number 15 so 15 plus 70 85 will go to 85 serial number I mean row number I think one is extra let's delete that so we have prepared our data table now how do we by using this how will we be able to translate or convert this data into a single column well we will simply use a function called vlookup now vlookup what do we want to look up well we need to look up unit per box which is this where we want to look this up we want to look it here let's lock this by pressing f4 
comma now we need to column index now for the first set of 10 units what is the column index well it is box number one so column number two how do we get that well we have mentioned the box number here we will add one to it that's our column number comma zero we need exact match so we will mention either false or zero hit enter well we see that here we have got this serial number here let's paste it down see what happens we have got this one here similarly we will copy paste till the end and that's how we have got 70 serial numbers into one column now this is one way to do it i mean we have translated a box uh, as uh, multiple boxes into one single column now can we do reverse suppose we have this information all the serial numbers in one column and we have to translate this into a box something like this you know a one and that box information is mentioned in each column something similar to this can we do that so and each box will have 10 units once again so is there any method can we do it there is how so for doing this so for reversing this single column serial number information into multiple column we will need to create a working a data column a helper column and this helper column will have a combination of unit per box we will have a separator just to make it easy to understand then the next combination is box number which is the column so what do we have e serial numbers is some serial number is identified by its coordinates which is unit in box and the column number of the box which is one here let's copy and paste it down now let's see how we can achieve this use this column column a to reproduce the box which is here so let's see how to do it it's we look up now what do we have we have this serial number unit number in the box and a separator which we have used for the ease of understanding and column number here we will need to lock the row comma the lookup table which is this we we'll lock this one as well comma 4 because the serial number is in the column 4 comma 0 now obviously this hasn't worked because here the box number is not a numeric value so let's make it numeric box number 1 box number 2 and so on we need to lock this F column as well now let's see how do we get the answer now you can see from this table we are able to replicate this contents of this box number one as it is now let's copy this formula and paste it here now you see we have seen two things by using VLOOKUP we have box wise information for prop serial number like this and we were able to convert into one single column like this by using a VLOOKUP formula and then we also saw how to convert this single column information of serial number back to a box wise information like this in a horizontal format 
when in each column represents the contents of box containing 10 serial numbers in each column so that's it for today's video let me know what you think it it is kind of a use case for mostly in supply chain situation supply chain department it might be useful for you as well so thank you and see you in the next video